It's been almost two full weeks since the Oswego State men's ice hockey team has played a game. That two weeks, however, have managed to become the most newsworthy of their young season. Coming off a 4-1 win against rival Plattsburgh on November 19th, the Lakers are bumped up to number one in the nation for both the USCHO and D3 hockey polls for Division III men's ice hockey. Assistant coach Mark Digby notes that there is certainly some perks to being number one, however, there is still much to be proven. The reality of it, you know, is that uh, you know, it's not some playoff that we won, it's just the popular vote that we won. So um, it's nice to be recognized, certainly it helps with recruiting and getting a little bit of notoriety that way. but. Um, you know, it, you know, it's going to come back to how we play on the ice, not how we play in the paper. Coming off a big win against the rival Cardinals, and with games against the second and third place teams in the SUNYAC on the docket next week, it may be easy to overlook a weekend series against Morrisville, who currently sits at eighth in the conference. Lakers captain Chris Ragaseo says the team does not see it that way. For us, it's faceless opponent every night. Um, it, it really doesn't matter what color the other teams are wearing uh, to us. We're focusing on our game. We're focusing on our 60 minutes. Uh, we're going to skate. We're going we're gonna to grind teams down with our speed and then let the skill take over in the areas that it needs to. Regardless of who the Lakers' opponent is this weekend, history has been made. When the team behind me takes the ice against Mooresville for the second game of a home and home series this weekend, they'll be the first team in Division Three men's ice hockey history to go from unranked in the preseason polls to number one. Being the last unbeaten team in Division Three at 7-0 along with being number one in the nation is certainly a nice place to be at the beginning of December. However, the Lakers are much more concerned about being number one at the end of March. For WTOP 10 Sports, I'm Dylan Kuhn.